My name is Richard Taylor. I come from Canada and I live here in Rwanda. Uh, I serve as the country director of an organization called the Wellspring Foundation that works in the education sector along with the government to try and improve uh, the quality of education within the public education system. My name is uh, Sven Langeland and I come from uh, Norway and uh, I've been in Rwanda since the end of November uh, last year, so around eight months. Uh, and I'm here on a one-year contract working for the UN uh, with the nutrition. My name is Han from China Road. I have been here six years. I'm enjoying Rwanda very much. I find it a very beautiful country uh, with very, very friendly and nice people. You know, I, I make road and bridge in this country. You know, the Rwanda people is very friendly and the government is very good. Uh, I'm here with my family, uh, with my wife and my three boys. And we have been involved in Rwanda uh, since I first visited in 2002 but we have only been living here as a family for the last uh, just under two years here in Rwanda. But I've been here many times, traveled here over 30 times. I love Rwanda. I've been to visit almost every part of the country and uh, not only had a chance to work here and build many deep friendships with Rwandans, but also a chance to visit many of the beautiful places in Rwanda. Some days before, I just come back from Jiu Lake. It's beautiful, and you know that the local people are very, very friendly. I have stayed there three days with my friend, so I like Rwanda. I enjoy especially traveling around, seeing the different parts of Rwanda into Akagera, uh, seeing the elephants, the giraffes, on self-drive safaris, very beautiful place. Been to uh, Virunga uh, to visit the mountain gorillas, which are one of the most beautiful creatures I've seen. I've also gone to the Bisoke uh, volcano with the crater lake on top, which was also a, a very beautiful, but also very tough walk with mud up to my knees and uh, sliding a lot, but it was a very, very good trip, well worth uh, the struggle. As you travel, whether you go to the west and you see Lake Kivu, like the jewel of Africa, with its beautiful, beautiful uh, lake and people fishing on the lake, whether you go to the north and you see the five volcanoes and the gorillas and the Virunga Mountains, uh, whether you go to the east, see Akagera, see more of the flat areas and the plains near Tanzania, whether you go to the south uh, and you see the forests of Nyungwe, this is a beautiful country. And then of course here in the capital city of Kigali, uh, even if you go away for six months and you come back, now new buildings are coming up, new businesses are being started. So there's a sense of growth, there's a sense of optimism, there's a sense that people are really putting the past behind them and that they're learning how to work together in a new Rwanda. So as a person from Canada who's, uh, who's living here in Rwanda, that makes it a wonderful place for our family to be. Uh, and we really believe in wanting to be a part of that future of building Rwanda. But as I travel through the country, there are things that I really love. Uh, I love the way that each year you can see things and grow and improve. I love how hard Rwandans work and the pride that they have in their own country and in their work. I love the way that people hold e each other and hold their leaders accountable for, uh, for improvement, not just in the capital city of Kigali, but also in the countryside. I love the beauty of Rwanda. It's truly a Rwanda in Ziza. We had a lot of visitors here who also enjoyed Rwanda a lot and everyone is surprised to see how developed it is and also how clean it is and safe. Everyone is surprised by that and I think it's uh, 
Rwanda has a lot of th good things going for them now and it's very nice to be a part of it and, and to see it up close. When I first came to Rwanda I was attracted by the vision for this country. Uh, as a young man I read Vision 2020. I said that's a great vision. To see this country that has suffered so much to grow to be a middle income country where people can really stand on their own feet and thrive was a wonderful vision. So I wanted to be a part of the vision and I feel that I've been welcomed by Rwandans, uh, made many good friends. And also here in, in Kigali I find the, the food scene to be very good, a lot of good restaurants, good bars um, and also a lot of nice sports to be doing, especially here at Surx Sportif with squash, with basketball, with tennis, swimming, uh, everything in one place is, is very nice. I like here. I want to stay there a long time in future, just like this. My boys even have Rwandan names. Um, my oldest son, his name is, uh, his Rwandan name is uh, Kwizera. Then uh, uh, there is Inwari. And uh, we also have Munezero. And my oldest son even owns a cow that's now given birth. And he has two cows. <laughs> so our milk we get from our own cow. Thanks, Rwanda. Mm -hmm.